what's up guys um I'm using my webcam mic so if this sounds bad i'm sorry uh anyways i'm gonna be making a video about how to hex edit charlie murder to uh mess with how many items you have in your inventory like health packs for example stuff like that uh, i just figured i'd make a tutorial on how to do this because it's, it's extremely easy takes maybe a couple minutes to do and this video might even be shorter than five so let's just get started with simply getting your game save i use it straight from my hard drive but uh you get your game save you go to contents you extract games dot save i'll just put it on my desktop takes a little bit because it's from my hard drive and what you want to do after that is you want to take game.save and open it with hex editor okay now you'll say all this different stuff like all the different clothes and whatnot um, basically you just have to go down to where your character is and you have to look through a little bit and that's where you'll find like your items and all that stuff and I think you can if you play with more than one character, you can mod all of them or any of them, as long as you actually have played with that character and there's stuff in your inventory. But, um, for example, all you have to do is find the, uh, find the item that you want to mod, and I'll just say, like, Heavy Bar, for example, and right about here, where... Like, normally there'll be, like, three blank spots, but I, I filled up uh, these two with numbers to change the uh, number of how many there are. Like, I'll try to find one that doesn't have anything modded with it. But basically, there'll be, like, three uh, sets of zeros. Like, this one has two because I modded it already. Uh, let me see if I can find one that isn't modded. Okay, this med kit will work for a good example. Alright, so you'll see like three sets of zeros, and then it'll say like one, two, three, what, whatever, how many you have. And it'll normally have a number of like where it starts. So the, the period right in front of the item, you want to go over from that, go past the three sets of zeros, and then find the number. So there's one med kit here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that and you can make it whatever you want. Um, what I've been doing is making them uh, FF, FF, which is like 65,000 something. I don't, I don't remember the exact number, but I figured that's good enough to hold me for a while. And then you can always come back into this and change it back to like one or two to just get rid of it real quick because it's very easy to level up in this game. So I'm always uh, having to mess with the numbers of stuff. But that's literally all you have to do is you'll change the number of how many you have. And then all this is like the checkpoints of places you've been to. And I think that's how you fast travel around. I'm guessing that's what that is. But that's really all you have to do is change the number that's three zero sets away from it. Or like I have two here because... Already, you can mod. I think all the way up to uh, all the way so that there's at least one set of zero, like at least one uh, period between it and uh, the thing. But there's always going to be. Uh, you always. I think you can actually go all the way until the part with the period uh, or the dot right before the actual item name. I think you can go up to that. So you could probably fill up. Um, you could probably fill up all of this right here most likely haven't tried it myself I've just been doing 65,000 something of um, the items that I've had and I changed that so I'll have uh, 65,000 something med kits and then you can I guess I'll just save it and it'll make a backup yeah and then you're done with that you have a backup in case you uh, messed up the uh, hex editing and something doesn't work and it doesn't uh, play and it maybe corrupts then you can go back and change or you can go back and just use the backup 
And then what you want to do after you mod it and change the values to your liking, you want to go and replace the game.save, obviously. So replace that. And then you can save, rehash, and resign. And that's done. That's it. That's literally it. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. Um, subscribe, anything like that. I'll try to leave out more tutorials, but I just thought this would be a nice little simple tutorial to make. Um, it's really easy to do. Uh, I just thought it would be a good idea since the game is free. Anybody can play it. It's not that bad of a game. It's kind of like Dishwasher if you're into that. And if you enjoyed it, then let me know. And if you need help, I guess you could comment and maybe I can try to help you or try to assist you. But it's really simple. I don't think you'll need help. And that's pretty much it. So, see ya.